Today's workflow is going to cover the tool Clip and Ship. Clip and Ship allows a user to define an area and clip certain GIS layers to that area and have those layers emailed. Let's get started. The first step is to use the I want to icon. At the bottom of the list is the Clip and Ship tool. Make sure you read the disclaimer as there are certain information in here that will help you get through the process successfully. I'm going to search by address. Notice as I start to type in 76 Service Center Road, the autofill option comes up. Select it and click Next. This takes us to the Pickens County Public Works Building. Make sure this is the area you want and click Continue. The next step is to choose a data format. There are two types of data formats. GIS shapefiles, GIS geodatabases, and then there are AutoCAD drawing files. I'm going to select a shapefile. From here, you can select out the different layers you want to have clipped and shipped to you. I'm going to select parcel boundaries, structures, and I'm going to get the 2014 aerial imagery. I'm going to skip the topo this time and click Next. Fill out the information so the system will know where to send this information to. If you use Google Chrome, chances are you can use the autofill settings. This will allow the system to clip the data and will send you an email with that information shortly. I've already downloaded this information and I'm ready to get started on my project. Remember, full data sets can be accessed through the Pickens County website by going to Departments, GIS and Mapping, to Data Download. Here, you'll find aerial imagery, base map data, contours, and all sorts of land records. Thanks for using the tool. See you next time.